Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. How are you today? I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Brooke or Baby Sims, wherever you prefer to call me. And if you're not new here, then welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are building, or I guess kind of building? I guess we're not, I don't know. Would you say it's building? Furnishing? designing i don't know but we are doing there we go i'll use that word we are doing an apartment today in san Myshuno. and uh this one I actually do have a backstory for so i guess this counts as a build with a story um this is actually in my current household save uh same save that i do my save tours in and my current household save has been because uh as i've said in almost every zip video i swear but in case you are new here i have one save that i only have one save and i've been playing it for like seven six years something like that well i guess i have more saves now because i have a let's play save but um yeah so uh, when I was playing my current household save, I have three kids in that save before I, the parents' names, if you aren't familiar, are Cassie and Drew Woods, and they have an oldest kid named Hudson, a middle child named Luna, and the youngest is Wyatt. And, uh, the middle child is Luna, as I said before, but, um, she was at school and I got her to make friends, um because well she had those social needs when she was in school and she met this person at school and i uh, really thought they were cute and i want her to be friends with them so i thought let's make over their apartment because i didn't know where they lived and usually townies in this game especially if you have mcc they will um just kind of move in anywhere and have like 10 kids in a one bedroom apartment and that's exactly what this was it was actually a two bedroom apartment but the original apartment was made for two twin sisters who were like influencers when i first made this apartment and put it in my save a long time ago but obviously they are dead now so this family moved into it um and there is four of them in this tiny apartment and that's why it's called small family apartment because it is a tiny apartment like this is like tiny house level tiny you know like this is a small house and uh there actually is kind of three people living here but we'll get to that in a second but there is the dad whose name is hans um not disney related because i have a video coming up soon where i have a crazy sim because i also made them over but um they are a randomly generated family and so the dad's name is han the mom's name is marioko we're gonna get to her in a minute but i'm not gonna, i'm gonna save some for the creative sim video because there is more to come about this family and i forget the daughter's names if i'm quite honest but one of them is friends with my sim um but either way so i built i was building this and i took a quick look at what the family was like you know their traits um who lived here and it is two child-aged girls um, and then the dad, and apparently the mom, but again, hold on, but when I was looking more into their family tree a little bit, um, one of the daughters is the dad's, and the other daughter is both the mom and the dad's, so I guess the two child-aged girls are actually stepsisters, which is cool. In my mind, I feel like they, um, don't like each other very much. They might. They share a bedroom, which we see we decorate a little bit, and it's not decorated as the opposite siblings or twins, like I keep doing, but no, they aren't opposites. They actually have pretty much similar tastes. But from what I've gathered from actually playing with this household, I guess not with, but my sim is friends with um the one of the daughters in this household, so um kind of playing along them is that they don't like each other. They're always insulting each other when my sim was over there, so they don't like each other, so I guess they don't really like the steps. It's like a evil stepsister type thing. They are the exact same age and um they seem to, uh, I want to say they seem to get along, but they, uh, do not. So, that's unfortunate. But, um, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. My brain just kind of blanked when I was talking. But, oh, yeah, this, the, uh, the sip scissor, step, step, oh, my God, guys, step sisters. There we go. I apologize. Wow, that was a whole lot of nothing. Um, <laughs> they don't seem to like each other very much. And they live with, uh, their mutual dad, which is Han Tanaka. Their last name is Tanaka. And, um, I noticed that when I was making them over in cast, there was a mother who lived here, but when I was, um, playing with them, she was never here, and then I realized something quite, um, odd, and that is, so for context, Drew, the, uh, Luna's dad, is in the detective career, he's actually chief, he's level 10, and, uh, I play with him at work almost every single day because I have nothing else to do except for just sit at the house on three times speed, so why not? Um, and I go to work with him all the time, and I was watching, and I was noticing that he had to do, like, the fingerprint, um, the, you know, people who live in the cell at the 
the police station. And I was looking through the people to click on, and I noticed someone named Marioka Tanaka. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, because I just made over that family, and that is Luna's new friend's mom. So, yeah. Uh, the mother of this household does not live here because she's actually in jail. Um, she lives in the police station, technically. And uh, I know that because I play in the detective career every day and she's always there and i always bookmark her and that makes for an excellent storytelling that i didn't even have to really do quite honestly because think about it right luna has become such good friends with this girl and then imagine she goes home and she's like dad i met this new friend and i want to go to her house and he's like okay sure let me drive you and then uh he asks his little one day he's like so who's your parents what they're like and she kind of spills the fact well her mom's not around um and i in my mind this is how it went when i was playing it luna would be like oh her mom's at the police station and and drew being like oh she works there too what's her name i probably know her she's probably like one of my partners or something and she's like no 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 she doesn't work there she actually she lives there <laughs> and uh she's uh yeah so i feel like uh that's a cool thing to think about when I'm doing this. I thought it was kind of interesting. I feel kind of bad for the younger girls, though, because obvious reasons, but that's upsetting. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit of the story of this household. I'm doing their bedroom right now. Um, also, apologize that this video is so short. It's only like almost eight minutes. That's very short. Um, it took me not a long time to do this apartment considering it is so small. It is like basically one room but in fact we're basically done this build like right now but i just decorated their room very pink very purple white and colorful i really liked it and now i'm doing the wallpaper and if you're not new here you will know but me doing wallpaper last means that we are actually done this build so if you like this type of content i make sims 4 content almost every day i would say every day but i don't because i'm flacking lately but I make Sim 4 content all the time, and I make a lot of speed builds just like this one, and a lot of other things such as save tours and gameplay videos. But anyway, if you want to follow me on anything, all my all my social medias are down in the description down below, as along with my gallery where um, I don't think I put up yet, but you can download. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.